Well, starting last year, we had them read a Christmas carol, and we talked about the themes of a Christmas carol to start the foundation of um, homelessness and the problems with homelessness. They started doing research on Project Mobile Hope and homelessness in Loudoun County, and we gave them the opportunity to present their research in any way they wanted to to reach a greater audience. And we had Mrs. Fortier, who's the CEO and founder of Project Mobile Hope, come and talk to the kids about homelessness in Loudoun County and also bring in a success story. story and I think bringing in Cynthia really touched the kids. It, I was looking around at their faces when she was talking and I could tell it really impacted them um, that it's just not a stranger, it's somebody you could know. We had about 24 kids who were um, reporters and they took a tour of the bus and they had a, a note sheet to fill out and they took pictures and asked questions and they'll report back to their language arts classes. And then we had um, all the donations that we collected, which is being counted by our math department. Um, they came in and delivered all of their items and it was a, a great number of things. <laughs> Thank you. So we have different businesses and churches that do hot meals for us and then we do food bags. Um, we hand out like two breakfasts, two lunches and two dinners. Yeah, so they do hot meals like, you know, spaghetti and meatballs and that type of thing. Good question. Um, there's such a misconception out there that every child in LCPS has access to everything. And what we want to do is um, empower these kids to understand the importance of not judging, to be there for support and to helping their fellow students, um, regardless of what that is. Most of our mission is focused on the 18 to 24 where we help them with life skills, getting jobs, the social determinants of health. And then the other clients that come to us are really the struggling families and struggling kids who just need additional access to clothes and school supplies, hygiene items, and we act as a referral service as well for them to make calls on their behalf to organizations that they might not be aware of. I've been with Mobile Hope for over five years. My family and I moved around to, to get away from an abusive father. We slept in parks, cars, strangers' basement, and other very strange, strange places. My siblings and I helped each other out, took care of one another while my mother was away at work. We stayed together fighting the hunger and the cold. I started working at 14 to provide food for us while my mother paid for the rent and my brother for the bills. I've gone to 10 different elementary schools, four middle schools, and seven high schools. I wanted to drop out because I couldn't keep up with work and school. We never told anyone our situation until Mobile Hope arrived with open arms. They gave my mother a job and got us back on our feet. Over the years, Donna, Casey, and Bonnie have been family to me. Without them, I wouldn't be here. They have been there for our homeless dark days to the days I just needed advice about boys or other life choices. When my mother was always working and never home, I could come to them. I could feed my siblings with their help. I could graduate from high school because of their help. My brother is in the Marines now because of their help. My three siblings are safe, warm, and with food in their bellies because of Mobile Hope. Not only did Mobile Hope give my mother a job, but they also gave me a job. I love working here and helping others who suffer like me. Thank you. Yep, right there on the shelf. We really just want kids to have empathy and compassion for human beings. If they see somebody who is in need or in help and that the person that they could be friends with um, or that they could be sitting next to might not have the best situation and instead of maybe going along and, and making fun of um, a child to have more empathy and to stand up for that child.